not a normal job. A lot of people kind of get confused about the limits. I see people from all walks of life. Builders, bankers, bloggers. Hi babe, hi Callum, how are you? I've always wanted to know why my fans subscribe to me. Send a tip and we'll get this bra right off. The weirdest thing that I've ever been asked to do on cam is to do a confession tape admitting that I had sex with dogs. Nope. He wants to see tips for tips. Come on, guys. I love it, thank you. I want to know what's going on in their heads. What they really think of porn, camming and the sex industry. <laughs> but what they don't know is that they all have one person in common and that is me. I'm going to be in the next room listening and watching everything they say. Asking the questions to steer the conversation exactly where I want it to go. I love two things in life, women and money, and uh, I managed to find a way of combining the two as I run a live sex cam site. Ominous looking table. And uh, a banging crowd as well. He sounds so posh. I think my ultimate all-time idol would be Margaret Thatcher, but uh, when it comes to sex, I definitely keep the more conservative side of things at the bedroom door. I work on one of his campsites. I wonder what he's going to say about me or about the industry. I'm, I'm interested now. I'm originally from Poland. Got into camp girling four years ago, and I'm single. Hey, my name is Matt. Matt, I'm Joe. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. He's one of my subscribers. At the moment, I just see them as just a name on my screen. I use cam girls. Sometimes I spend twenty pounds a week. He's probably had a wank over me, and now I'm going to come face to face with him and maybe even touch the same hand that he's had around his cock. I run a really successful camming website. My dad got me into the industry. It's literally, it's in my DNA. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? You all right? Hey, how's it going? All right. I'm Molly. Molly, OK. Wicked. I have known him for around seven years. I know him really well. It's not a bad thing. Like, you're not a slag if you're doing it. You're not anything like that. You're trying to make your money in a certain way, and that's your way of doing it. At a glance, they all seem so different, but they're not because they've all got me in common. I'm a feminist, and it makes me really angry when a young girl is exploited and they come into the industry because there's no need for it. Jiggling your, your titties around live on a webcam and, and flashing your fanny, then there's definitely that, that's sex work to me. I go into cam girl because it's better than just watching porn in general. Just going to ease them in with a simple question. All right, guys, how much porn do you watch? It's a bit of an out there question. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <They're> <laughs> in. <laughs> I'd say that depends how, how, how horny you feel. Put whatever porn you want to watch for like a few minutes, have a quick wank, and you're done. Uh, but if you're feeling really horny, then you just wank for hours, pretty much, you're ending up doing that. As a mechanic, sometimes you've got so much stress on your head and to get it past and stuff. So at the end of the day, just go home, have a wank, go sleep, obviously, and then relax. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, like, I got a girlfriend, and like, my best way is in the shower to think about her breath. It's the thing that gets me off. Bullshit. I don't think anyone sits there and wanks over their girlfriends. Come on, you watch porn. I, I love porn. I watch, I use it pretty much every day. The adult online stuff is so instantly accessible to give you what you want, which from a male point of view is an orgasm as many times a, a day as possible. The problem is an orgasm is a bit like crack. It's quite Moorish. I wonder if porn warps these guys' perception of sex. In real life, it's completely different to what we watch. 
pulses. You are wanking and having an orgasm to something you're watching, and then you want to reenact it and go and try what you've watched. I'm not gonna lie, what I watch on porn, like, I fully do with my girlfriend, innit? And like, I'm not gonna lie, but I do feel like without porn, like, I would have worked out how to do all this stuff myself. I think his girlfriend's gone, you will mention me. <laughs> porn is there to be a cut above normal sex, and it has to be so people watch it. Guys, get a really unrealistic view of what I'm gonna do on the cam for them. Shove your fist up your arsehole. No. <laughs> and not for two pound a minute either. So do you two get a lot of sex? Not as, as much as like, I'd like. <laughs> not as much as you'd like. I slept with one and that was my ex. I broke up with her like six months ago, six, six, seven months ago. I had a girlfriend, so we had loads of sex, but after we broke up, uh, that, I just don't do it as much. I think I have enough sex to satisfy myself, so that's blessed. And I've got a girlfriend, so, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so is it open with the girlfriend? Do you, like, bang other pussy? Do you bang other pussy? No, no, it's just the one. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm loyal like that, yeah. yeah. I mean, I lost, I lost my virginity with an escort, so I've always kept it just, like, quite Oh, quite really? Simple, Has yeah. that always been your kind of...? Yeah. Oh, so that was the V-card gone. I wonder if he's ever been in love and he's had his heart broken, and that's why he uses escorts on webcam. It's a tough one, sex or money, sex or money. I'm not, I can never decide which one I like the most. Oh, OK, oh, yeah. it's between them. I think I like sex the most, to be fair. Mm, I don't I'd go for money, because you can get as much sex as you want anyway. Where's the evidence? Is that 100% evidence in that, that you'll get a load of girls if you have money? If you pay them £140 an hour to take the pants off, then yeah. Wouldn't you yeah. ever just have sex with people that actually wanted you for who you are? No. So far, it's been really, really interesting, but I really think I need to put the pressure on now and find out exactly what they think of cam girls. Do you watch cam girls? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> You're a big fan of the cam girls. Uh, I do like them. I, I think I prepared, pre prefer them more than just normal porn. It's just much better because you've got a contact with, with a girl in front of you. It's a lot more of a personalised service, isn't it? Yeah. Do you watch cam girls? I used to quite a bit, but not to be honest, now no is the okay. short answer. Um, cool, cool. I do get to see quite a lot of uh, content through my site. and um, Also, you get to see kind of what idiots men are, in the sense, you know, sometimes we have customers paying hundreds of pounds to do something like watch a girl smoke a cigarette. But when I was younger, I did kind of video camera myself having a wank and then watched it back and had another wank over it. So it's kind of like an inception That's wank, like yeah, a wank yeah. within a wank. You filmed yourself wanking yeah. and you watched it back? Yeah. You know, what's, what's a better ego boost than wanking over your own face? Not, li not literally, but obviously <laughs> watching yourself I mean, I So think. he wanks over himself? That is not a thing. How much money do you spend on cam girls, Matt? Well, it depends, because I don't use them, like, literally every day or every week. Uh, I do go on them, but I don't spend the money sometimes. Do you find it creepy that I pay money to, uh, to do Not yeah. really. To be honest with you, like, yeah, I, I totally respect people who go on there. We do get a lot of lonely guys on there, but, well, on our site, but also generally on all sites, looking for one-on-one -on -one interaction. Everybody's got a different fetish, and because of that, I think it provides a really good service. I'm kind of like, I'm one of those foot guys. It's kind of like pretty much anything like south of the ankle kind of really does it for me. The main one I'd say is like femdom kind of stuff. I don't normally like to talk about my fetishes because uh, there's not something you do talk about in public. One of them is femdom, which is female domination, and that's what I enjoy the most from all of it. I wouldn't do it in real life. So is it not frustrating never getting to like live out your kind of fantasy that you want to try? So I'd, I'd love to try it out, but in real life it's it's, it's much harder because the guilt say, oh, you're a weirdo. <laughs> there is a lot of fetishes out there. I do female domination online. I take pictures, I do videos. You do what I say. Never done it in real life to anyone. If I was a woman, I'd be a lot richer than I am now. Because I think oh, when yeah. every woman walking around literally has a cash point between her legs, those things just spit bank notes yeah, it's out. it's so easy for women yeah, to, like, to do that kind of, to get money out of whatever. I just want to stop there. Like you say, every woman has a bank note in between their legs. Yeah. Like, women are so different in so many different ways. You know, obviously you see it from a certain side and you're in a certain industry and stuff, but, you know, at the end of the day, they're all human beings like that. I'm really shocked. I'm kind of blown away that he is 
saying stuff like that about women. I can't wait to go in there. But there's nothing more stupid than a man with an erection, and it's someone that is a prime target to be taken advantage of. I don't think men are exploited in this industry, to be honest with you. I think men exploit themselves. Yes, men do exploit themselves. A man for erection, if he doesn't have control over that, then that's his problem. You know, those sites aren't forcing anybody to go on them. So it really annoys me when they say the men's getting exploited. It's his choice to go on the website. You know how easy it is to manipulate an 18-year-old girl who's just come from school, who's willing to put their body out like that. So they're the ones who end up getting exploited, which is really unfair. When I used to use cam girls, it was entirely sexual. But again, watching it with customers, there's quite a big customer market where it's, say, 40, 50-year-old men, often yeah. married, that are either married or divorced, and they're very, very lonely. If people want to pay me to talk to me about their problems, then I'll sit there and listen, but we are here to make money. I want to know what they think of me. I want to know whether they think I'm this CG, up for it, nymphomaniac girl. I think there isn't such a thing. I think the actual type of girls we have are all so different, like... They're all human, so they all go on, like, different things over their head. They're feel... very strong people, to be mm. fair, I think. They're the strongest sex. Yeah, of course. Honest. Women are beautiful in all sizes, all shapes, yeah. all colours. No, I won't go that far. Well, I think... Can't, can't, I, no, can't, so can't, can't, be doing, can't be doing with a fatty. There's nothing worse than a fatty. See, uh, again, like, what about if someone turned around and said, you were too skinny or you were too fat? Oh, so if a woman turned around and said, that's you, that's... Don't know about all that, though, man. A girl who's a little bit overweight might watch this and think... Really offended. I am big watching. Eat less, <laughs> less Big Macs. <laughs> that's, I think that's a disgusting... I really think that's a disgusting view, bruv. I'm gonna no. be honest with you. I just, I'm really disappointed you would say that. And you're a webcam owner as well. And I feel like you should take a look at yourself on that one. It's a random question. You've all got one person in common. Who is it? Like... <laughs> what? <laughs> Someone's at the door, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's more like a police raid, not <laughs> rather, than, rather than Father Christmas. Oh, it balls it, balls it. <laughs> oh, oh my God. days! <laughs> nah. You know what? You nah, represented. No you way. represented. Uh, you know I represented. You represented. No, you know no, no honestly. Right. Honestly. Hi, Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and um, you might not recognise me, but I actually work on your website. Oh, okay. So you have a fatty on your website. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> I think you're very rude. You're really? very rude. You have come across very, very badly. Like you've put yourself across bad. And considering you own a website, no one's going to want to work for you. I'd say more. I'd say more honest. It's not than. honest, though, is it? Yeah. You could have insulted a lot of people that maybe could have earned you a lot of money. So, Joseph, what has a woman done to you to make you yeah. so like aggressive towards women and have that really insulting opinion on on someone? You know. I want to know what, have you been hurt? Like as a girl fucks you over, stamped on your face or something for you to have this opinion? No, I've, I've, never, I've never really kind of done the girlfriend thing or uh, feelings or that Do you feel quite shit. intimidated by women? No, not think? at all. No, no, not, not remotely. Not even, not even you, Bex. I would say so, I not think so. Um, but I would possibly say intimidated by um, emotional kind of feelings and all that bollocks. Mm. I think it's uh, very weak and indulgent and decadent. And I don't want this to be all about, let's just pick on Joseph. Right. But, so. well, I'm a narcissist, I like being picked on. I've never heard of someone wanking off over a video of themselves. They're it's common. It's learning really things today. <laughs> it's a mainstream wanking activity. I, I've been in this industry 10 years and I've never heard of anything like that. Yeah. Maybe have your own campsite, which is just you. <laughs> just me. <laughs> <And> you <laughs> that is my wet dream right there uh, of course, in a lot. Like, no, that yeah. is my wet dream. So, Matt, what's made you so self-conscious? I think you're the sweetest guy that's been here. I think you're lovely. <laughs> what, what makes you think that you can't go up to a girl in a club? Like, what holds you back? People, they are, sometimes they are afraid of their fetishes and kinks. They don't want to come out with it in public or talk to their wives or girlfriends. That's why they use scam websites to ask the, the cam girl about this, if she can do that for, for him. Because that's what it's about. It's about sexual purposes and sexual frustrations. That's, that's why they go on these websites to get themselves out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Would you let me dominate you? Yeah, <laughs> that's probably will be one of the things. I've got some boots on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I've never talked about this kind of stuff in, in, in public. After talking with Bex, um, I'll try to talk more about my fetishes with the girls. Do you find that you're attracting Cameron at all, Bex? Or? I would never stop doing it. I, I enjoy it too much. I enjoy the freeness of it. But I feel like I am because I wanted to be an actress and because the job I do, 
no one's ever going to take me seriously. And it is a stigma that is completely attached to webcamming and the sex industry. I think I learned a lot today. We're all part of the same industry and all collaborate and give to it in different ways. But also, um, we're all very different people around that table. Would you say that you consider yourself to be a sex worker? There's a fine line between a uh, sex worker who has sex with men for money and myself. Um, I mean, nothing to say against escorts, but I don't put myself in that category at all because I don't sleep with any of my customers or anyone that talks to me. Yeah. And that's where I draw the line. So I'd like to say that I'm in the sex industry rather than a sex worker. I've definitely not came out of the experience with any shift in opinion or a, any great kind of epiphany where I've dropped to my knees thinking, Jesus, Holly is right. Um, I, I'm leaving exactly the same person I arrived as. Would you ever date a customer? I think straight up it would, it would scare me off a little bit. But now I've met you, like you're a completely normal person and you subscribe <laughs> to my site. And that for me is like, you know, it, that's, you've changed my perception of men that subscribe to oh, the God. site. So yeah. <laughs> Today was a real eye-opener for me. Um, you cannot put cam users all in one box. I mean, isn't it a little bit strange that everyone in this room is so different, but everyone has that link? I mean, I've worked with you, I actually use your site, and obviously you subscribe, but everyone has like a really different opinion on the whole industry. Uh, yes, because obviously camming it brings all sorts of different people uh, on the camera, so obviously ever, we may differ with our opinions, but, you know, we. My jack off to the same girl. <laughs> <laughs> Saying it. Point, I mean, yeah. 